Welcome to Little Data Courses. In this video, we're going to take a look into how you can create audiences in Google Analytics 4. Audiences can be used for retargeting, and you can also use them in the comparisons in the GA4 reports. Now, please remember that audiences are not retroactive. They will begin collecting data from the point of creation. Once you have Google Analytics 4 open, you'll want to navigate down to the Configure tab and select Audiences. You'll see two audiences already created. GA4 automatically will create the All Users and Purchasers audience. By clicking into the name, you can see more information on that particular audience. You can see Users, Engaged Users, and Conversions. Now what we're going to do is create a new custom audience. So click on new audience on the right hand side and that's going to load a bunch of options for you. We're going to create a custom audience, but you can also choose from suggested audiences, templates and predictive capabilities in GA4. For this one, we're going to go ahead and click into create a custom audience. Once we click into that, we're going to change the untitled audience name to a different title. For instance, we're going to name this one US Female Desktop Users. And you can also add in a description in to describe the type of audience you're creating. We'll put in users from the US who are female and use desktop. Now from here, you'll want to go to condition scoping. And for this particular instance, we'll select across all sessions. And once we select that, we're going to define the membership duration. And for this audience, we're going to select the maximum number of time. Now from here, we'll click on add a new condition and you'll be able to select the necessary criteria to define your custom audience. Now under dimensions, you'll see demographics and you'll select gender. Now, once you do this, you want to make sure to add the filter. So for this filter, we're going to make sure it is, is one of and then on the next one, we're going to make sure female, since that is the audience we're trying to capture. And we're going to select at any point in time and we're going to click apply. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on and, and then we're going to add another one in. So we're going to go and select geography this time. And once we find geography, we'll select that and we're going to go to country ID. Now, and as the filter, we want to choose exactly matches for this filter. And once we find that, we're going to go ahead and select that. And we're going to select US, even though there's a lot of options. We'll also select at any point in time and we'll click apply. Now we're going to add one more in. So we're going to click the and button on the left hand side. And this time we're going to be searching for platform and device. And once we find that, we're going to find the device slash category. And that's what we're going to select. And for the filter, we'll make sure that it exactly matches and we're going to select desktop. Again, at any point in time and click apply. Now you'll see that audience on the bottom right hand side start filtering out and you'll see that in the summary. Now, if you go ahead and click save, that's going to save this audience. Now that your audience is saved, you can actually go ahead and edit it. You can't edit any of the conditions that you have set, but you can create an audience trigger, which is really cool and a new feature. This means that once a visitor enters the audience criteria, you can configure a custom event to trigger when all the conditions have been met. Now to apply this audience in other reports, you can use the comparison method. So let's go ahead and go to the reports and in the report snapshot, let's go ahead and add a comparison. And on the right hand side, as a dimension, you can add an audience name and that will show you all of the audiences that you have. And we can select the one that we just created. Click OK and then apply. And that will apply the audience that you've created. Now you see that orange line. Now that's because the audience hasn't gathered any data as we've just created it. As more data gathers, you'll see that populate and the graph will reflect this. Now comment below what audiences you're creating and what audiences you need help creating. As always, thanks for watching Little Data Courses and happy exploring.